Why would I hire you as an actor? No, Grant. The question is, why would I hire you as my agent? Okay, let's go with that question. <laughs> is it, and that is a fucking fair and legitimate question. Evan and I were talking about that before. Um, when I first started as an agent, I worked with Pierce Wilkinson, who was, he, he was an agent at Shanahan's, which is the top agency, and him and Sue Barnett left Shanahan's and started up their own agency called Wilkinson Barnett. And then Sue and Pierce split and became Wilkinson and Sue Barnett, who's still around today, yeah. right? Pierce had a really bad drug problem, and so I'm in there answering phones for him, so I learned a lot about him. So he was a real kind of renegade agent that went out by himself. Um, I did a fairly good job to the point when the, his agency collapsed because of his drug problem. Mark Morrissey rang me up and said, um, can you please grab 20 of your best actors from the agency and come and work with me and I'll teach you how to be an agent. And David Brewster was there at the time. Now David Brewster's one of the oldest agents who's been around since Bill Shanahan was around, was around when Faith Martin was first uh, um, uh, an agent, before she became the oldest casting director and known to fucking God. And, Brewster, David Brewster died within three months of me being there as a new junior agent. And he knew he was dying, but he didn't tell us. And he's teaching me and teaching me and teaching me because he knew that I was going to take over his 110 clients. So he was riding my ass about uh, how to be an agent and how it all works and how to do it. And he was introducing me to all the casting directors. Now all the casting directors knew that I'd been with Wilkinson and they knew what was happening with Piers. So they were all really nice to me. So people like Susie Maisel, Peter Einberg is still casting now, Celia Matthews, Faith Martin, Maura Faye when she was alive, um, and then Anne Faye, um, took me under their wing and taught me and fucking taught me and taught me and taught me. And then Alan Wilson, who taught Matt Andrews at Marquee. So he was learnt from Alan Wilson as well. So Matt Andrews at Marquee now. So Alan Wilson came and taught me a heap of stuff. And Morrissey taught me a heap of stuff. And then Morrissey joined up with people that looked after writers, directors, film people. So I learned all about the film industry as well. So I got really awesome training as an agent and looked after Chris Hemsworth when he was first starting. Um, Bill Hunter, who taught me a lot, and Michael Caton, who talked about in Last Captain Darwin, John English, Chrissy Amphlett, um, Andy Whitfield. I was Andy Whitfield's agent and took him to Morrissey. So that's why I would be really good as your agent. Well, that's very impressive. Yes. What are you going to do for me? What am I going to do? What am I going why to do the you? fuck should I hire you? Why should you hire me? I had, starters, a, I had a pretty good answer to your question. You actually did have a really good answer, and I'm very impressed. Why, for starters, I'm a fucking very hard worker. I may not be the smartest in the room, but I'm the fucking hardest working in the room. I live in Newcastle at the moment. I travel down to Sydney every single week. I travel down whenever I'm called upon for auditions. I travel two hours just to get for an audition, regardless of whether I get it or not. I'm out there writing my own short film at the moment with my acting coach, out there researching what has to go into it, production, funds, uh, everything that's involved, so trying to learn about the industry as well as trying to start in it and move forward. I also went outside my comfort zone and started to play. I, it was called the Short and Sweet Festival that we got into. We made um, the semi-finals and then made the wild card finals where we had... That was your first time on stage? That was my first time on stage. Wow. And we made the wild card finals. The play was called One for the Money. It was about a crazy hitchhiker um, picked up on the side of the road on the way to an Elvis festival. And were you Elvis? No, I was the crazy hitchhiker. I know that. I went and saw it. It was really good. It was actually really good. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. That's not a bad answer at all. How do I sell you, though? How do you sell me? Are you tough guy? Look at your fucking tough no, skills. No, I'm not the tough guy. No, no, no. Skills. I'm not giving thing. You want to... You want to... You want to... But they're not tough guy ones. It's Mickey Mouse giving someone the finger. <laughs> you want to know? You want to know how to sell me? I'm not the tough guy. I'm not Vin Diesel. I'm not the Rock. I'm the I'm the, the guy that may be with the bad crew, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the head guy. So Theo Rossi and Sons of Anarchy. He's part of the bad crew, but he's not the bad guy. Are you a good guy? I'm not the good guy. I'm just not the. I'm not the main Are you bad not a good guy. guy. I can be. The short film that you're writing with your acting teacher, me, you're the fucking good guy. I am the fucking good guy. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. So why wouldn't I cast you as the good guy? You should cast me as the good guy. Are you handsome? No, I've got a head like a half-sucked mango, apparently. <laughs> so, probably not. 
Would you like to be in Home and Away? Yes. Cool. Would you like to be in Neighbours? Yes. Cool. What else would you like to do? I'd love to work in Underbelly when I came back. Cool. As a policeman or a criminal? As a criminal. Have you got a criminal past? Not really, no. Does your family have yes. a criminal past? Yes, my family has a criminal past, yes. <laughs> like a really good criminal past too. Like a really good criminal past too. <laughs> I'd also like to be... I think... I think I could pull it off too. I'd like to be a part of a really good comedy series. Okay. Are you funny? I can be. Make us laugh. Make you laugh. Yes, do, right something, do something funny. Do something funny like what? Make these three, okay, so these three people bigger. Well, Rachel's not going to laugh regardless. <laughs> <laughs> She's just got Evan to laugh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <it's> not... <laughs> All right, then. Okay, make us laugh. I've got nothing. Okay. You've got nothing? I've got nothing. Okay, we'll make us cry. <sighs> Are you emotional? Yeah, I can, but yeah. So, do I Yeah, yeah, I can be. What are you emotional about? In general or right now? Right now.